awesome person welcome back to my channel if you're new here that's awesome then just welcome to my channel my name is joy i do unboxings makeup try-ons and i throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes and today i want to open up my boxy pop-ups so get open and it comes like this <laughs> such a huge box for just a few items. So the first thing I got was the Luna Magic um, Vava Pink Lash Primer because I honestly didn't think that I'd get it in my um, June base box, but I did. It's right here, so I have it back up. I love this stuff if you haven't tried it. And I think I paid $4, maybe 5 at the most for this in pop-ups, which means it's usually going to be cheaper if you get BoxyCharm. And I think it's worth it. I just love what it does to my lashes. Then I got this Earth Harbor Sunstone Hair Revive Ex Elixir. And I love Earth Harbor. I love all of their um, oils that I've had so far. I can't even talk so far. And so... I figured, since I'm messing with my hair a little bit more, that it could probably use some nice treatments. And this was like $6, I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited to get that and try it. And then I got this Vegan Milk Cleanser, and it is by Milk Makeup. And I've never tried anything by Milk Makeup, but one of my girls that is also a content creator... Johanna Masana, she swears by this stuff. So I decided to get it and give it a try. So as soon as my other cleanser is gone, I think I'm going to jump right into this one. And then I picked up this Ico um, detangling brush. And this was like six bucks. And I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I figured it was cheap. It was cute. And I can put it in my purse easier than um, anything else. So. Let's see. Oh, it is so tangled with me. All right. And then I got this mini heat brush, and it is in the um, color apricot, and it is by Zoli. Let your hair shine. I got one of these ones before, but my dog chewed it up. Or dogs, I don't know which one because it wasn't here. This is what it looks like, and it is a heat brush. Like you plug it in, and it's supposed to produce heat and brush your hair, and it's supposed to help dry it. And I don't use actual hair dryer on my hair, but I thought maybe I could give this a shot and see if I like it. If not, I'll pass it on to one of my children. And then the last two items that I got are these palettes. And I normally try not to spend more than $12 on um, anything at pop-ups, but these are the ABH Novena Collection. And this is the, um, the Volume 3 palette. And I don't get Boxy Premium. And this, this one or the other one is going to be in the Boxy Premium this month. And uh, I didn't want to have to pass it up, so I went ahead and got it. And this was $24, but that is the outside packaging. It does come with a mirror. You do get a plastic thingy. And look at those colors. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the one that I really, really like because it's purple. I wonder why this one came like this, just in this envelope. And this one came in such nice packaging. All nice and sturdy. Don't make sense to me. And this is what this looks like. And again, comes with a mirror. You get a plastic thingy. And then, ooh, don't break it. And then these are the colors in this palette. And I cannot wait to play with it. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. But these are the seven items that I received in my Boxy Charm pop ups. And I forgot to tell you in the beginning that. Um, if you're not familiar with Box and Charm, they have a $25 base box, a $35 premium, and then the quarterly they have a $50 boxy luxe. But I'll leave all that information down in the description box. Alrighty, so I decided actually that I'm going to do one look with the um, purple palette and then one look with the orange palette. Just in case might be interested in getting these and ain't sure what you can do with them and because I just really want to play with them both so if you want to watch that keep watching if not I'll see you in the next video so with the purple palette I'm going to do a purple look on this side and I'm going to start off with the shade B1 
and I'm just going to tap that. Look how pigmented that is. I just tapped my brush on it a couple times, and now I'm tapping it right on my eye. Oh, it's so pretty. No eye primer. Most likely you won't need eye primer with this palette. It's an expensive palette. I can't remember exactly how much the original price is, so I'll look it up when I'm editing. But getting it for $24 is definitely a steal. Getting a little more just to finish off that. So did you get this? Do you get premium? Do you even get boxy charm? Actually, I should say. It is patchy right here. I don't know if that's the formula or if it's because my eyes are greasy. I think my oily skin's coming back. It's annoying. Like one minute I'm dry as hell and the next minute it's like, okay, we're going to be oily again. Like my skin can't decide what it wants to do. Now going in to B, what is that? No, A3. I'm going to see if I can darken it up just to make that patchy area look like it's normal because it's all blendable together. Oh, look at that. I think I'm succeeding. Just going to make really simple looks so we're not here for 10 hours. So then I'm going to go into A1 and I'm just going to use my finger for that. And I'm going to just tap that right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Definitely, so far, I'm not regretting buying this palette. And I'm just going to blend whatever makeup is already there. Just like that, you have a gorgeous look. Easy peasy. With the orange palette, I'm not going to do an orange look. <laughs> Could if I wanted to. But I'm going to use greens. So I'm going to start off with D3, and I'm using the exact same brush that I used with the other one. And that's my Luxie 205. Um, tapered blendy brush and I'm just going to go in like I did the last time this is my base color definitely not as pigmented as the purple and it lasts as long so back in to D3 give it a little more of a pop if we can so the green is definitely definitely not as pigmented at all Which is surprising because I thought purple was harder to make than green, but it is building up very, very nicely. Blends extremely well. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it's my eyes because it's patching up right here in the exact same spot. So, just, you know, if you have oily eyes, then maybe if you like eye primer, that'd probably be better so it wouldn't, you know, patch up on you, but I can work that out. I'm going to go into E1, and I'm just going to do what I did and just darken it, blend it all together. Oh, I do like it. I think I like the purple color better. Using C5, I'm going to do the same thing. Just tap it in that middle. Tiny is beautiful. And just going to blend again. Alrighty, so this is my finished look. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I think that it is absolutely beautiful. I will say that I like the Volume 1 palette better than the Volume 3. And that's because this worked wonders compared to this. Like the purple, I felt did a lot better. It was a little um, patchy, but I was able to work the other color in to make it look like it all was supposed to do long. But with this um, volume three, the green, mm, I just really didn't do that. But I'm going to play with both of them a little bit more. I'm super excited that I have these. I can now say I have another high-end brand. And then if you're curious, I'll show you really quick everything that I use to complete my finished look. I started off with my Vava Voom or Vava Pink Lash Primer. And then I use my Nourishing Mascara, my CoverGirl Last Blush. Um, clean mascara, my 
um, totally tubular um, mascara by Half Caked, and ooh, I love this for my bottom lashes. And then one of my favorite favorites is my Tarte's Lights Camera Splash Mascara. And then I use my LA Shape Fit Up Sculpt and Contouring Palette. I use my BH Vanilla Peach Truffle Palette, but I used um, this pink down here. And then one of my good friends, Kim, from Kimmy's Boxes, sent me this um, Glow Dent uh, Highlight Palette. And I love all the colors so much that I just took, I want to show you. I can find it real quick. Oh, I took this brush here and I go like this. I get all of the colors and then I just do my highlight. Like, I love it. Because I couldn't choose which one that I wanted to use. So, I use them all. And then I use my um, Huda Beauty. Um, mm, so, what is it called? I can't even read it, but it's a lip balm and my LA Colors um, Pout Lip Gloss for my lipstick. And a quick reminder for um, all of my true supporters, I have a giveaway going on. It is in a friend's mail video. That's all I'm going to say. So if you haven't already seen that video and you haven't checked it out, it is open to the United States and international. You just have to go watch it. And um, all the rules are in there. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed me watching... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my BoxyCharm pop-ups, and I hope you liked the two looks that I came up with. Have a wonderful day, remain awesome, and peace out, awesome crew.